Hey, hey everyone, I'm Myra, and I'm making arroz con leche from Colombia. Uh, my aunt and my mom is over here helping me out. Hey, digan hola. Yeah. So, yeah, I need help because I don't know how to cook. So, this is actually gonna be my first dish okay, I'm gonna of my whole life, low key. So, I just call it come out good. But don't get your expectations high. I don't promise nothing. Okay, so I'm just doing pancakes and bacon and maple syrup. So that's from Canada, I guess. Yeah. What are you making? Tomato casserole. I'm making some. Should I tell you the name? Or should I explain what it is exactly? Both. Okay. So these are like some rolls, like typical rolls that we make. It's specially, it's like typically from Asia, but we changed it our way, so it's better. But it's called nan, and it's really good. <laughs> I will make you try when it's done. So I need some ground beef, I need some rice paper, I need some shrimp. It's really good. Ugh. What are you making? <laughs> I'm gonna make some Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Hey, 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 my name's Chloe. I'm making green bean casserole. <laughs> well, um, I'm just making a uh, homemade uh, baked macaroni and cheese because um, that's what we make all the time, you know, for whatever type of. And she can only eat chicken. Yeah, I mean, I don't eat, I don't eat beef or pork, so it's like chicken and other stuff, so, and you know, that's something everybody can eat. I'm making sweetie. chicken spaghetti, <laughs> um, I guess it's American. <laughs> it's the only thing I know how to really make, so that's why I'm making it. <laughs> this is Chef Adrian, this is my mom, I need her to help me when I make my food, because I don't cook. Pan? Say hi, mom. We're making pork steak. It's like pork chops, but without the bones. So I'm making gumbo, but um, this is my first time, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're just gonna freestyle this. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't even put on the gloves. What am I doing here, bro? Lindsay, you help me. <laughs> What are you making? Chicken fried steak. Come on. Why don't you just put steak? Cindy, right? Just steak. Hot, hot, though. This is like one of those challenges where you get a random ingredient and figure it out because. Okay, do. what the heck? <laughs> it's gonna work. We're gonna figure it out. Five stars. All right. What are these? They're strainers. Oh, nice. Okay. Nothing um, though. All right. So this is 311 right here. Mm -hmm. We're sticking together mm -hmm. and we're making the best food. I do not know I how to cook. I don't even know how to cook. It's gonna be good. She's just saying that. I definitely think Jordan Wright is gonna be the last person. <laughs> she might be done at like 8 o'clock. Oh my god. Gumbo? That's good. Yeah, but we're gonna make the best one. Best food. I'm making queso so it's... Where are you? you can't mess it up. If it's nasty guys, just Jordan don't tell me. I'm gonna tell it. No. No. You should not put it. No. What is it? I on the floor. Oh, you want some of mine? I have a lot. Ugh. At least at this point, your grease is gone. Like, why is it not ready? It's been. I told you the up. stove sucks. Look, mira, mira, look, mira. It's been warming up for three years. Oh, Did no, it's ready now? now. It's ready now. No, I turned it up. I'm worried. It's okay. Scared. Okay, ready? Let's get a close up on this. Or um, I don't want to die. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Ready? Oh, girl. I'm so dramatic. It's not even ready. Okay. It's ready and settled. Okay. Okay. I 
said I need my mom's help and she's not answering. God. She said I have bad reception. <laughs> so inconvenient. And I don't know what I'm doing. There's no yelling in the kitchen. I don't know what I'm doing. And I need my mom. <laughs> this is so inconvenient. I'm about to cry and I'm not joking. What are you making? Take a bite, take a bite. Oh. How about you just leave me alone and call your mom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need one more can of cream of mushroom, I think. I need a strainer. Can y'all find me one? A strainer. They're in this one. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Like, and this is not gonna taste like my mom. And this is my favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving. This is just gonna take me forever. Why does it fold like that? Just, I don't just gonna hold it. I, I feel like I'm in a 1920s kitchen. We are. Like this could be, like this looks like it came from, what's that place called? This is the good night house. What's those vintage stores called? That's what it's called. Yeah. A thrift store? No. What did you say? Antique store. Oh. It's giving. I texted my grandma and I'm like, hey, can you send me the uh, ingredients to the gumbo? Because that's what I'm cooking. And she told me I can cook it. So she already knew. So I had to look up ingredients online. So, bro, like, she got should I call her? It's a yeah, all right, man. I'm gonna call her. All right, let's see. She be tripping. Okay, hold on. So what you do is make steak finger bites. Yeah, and then instead of like the, because you know I'm just gonna make the gravy with the. With the, if she don't answer, you know, she's wrong. So I'm just gonna have Wait, a little, like, am I supposed to do vegetable oil or olive oil? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yes, I'm making gumbo, so I need your help. It's like one of those challenges. Not each other. Like, you have to she said, "Don't kill the people with that mess." I actually, I tried to opt out, but they said no. And do I use vegetable oil or olive oil? She, wait, what did you say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell the people how you don't believe in me. What's she talking about? You just said, Jordan, you need to quit. When you don't have your own people believe in you. Okay. We're on a vlog, so. It's a lot of You just can't make gumbo. You heard it. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> I did that. Do you think it looks dumb? Yep.